Flying Sparks, Excerpt 8. Just as it had come, the flood receded in a flash. The water abated, flowing downstream and soaking into the ground, as, and he collapsed on his back, gasping. For a moment, he lay there feeling wild joy and gratitude at being alive, as his thoughts reformed into words and reason. But movement in the hollow of a dancing Douglas fir caught his attention, and his eyes struggled to focus on a dark form in a darker space. It was a crow, he realized, and it was staring at something just below him in avid fascination. Curious, Drake lif lifted his head and followed the direction of the corvid's gaze. At first, his mind simply refused to process what he was seeing, and focus on the fact that the flood had taken the shirt he had wrapped around his leg, as well as his pants, leaving him in his tidy whities Annoyance hit him as he factored having to avoid Abuelita into his return plans. Then the pain hit him in a wave, every bit as overwhelming as the flood, and threatened to black him out. He fought against the darkness, a rough old voice urging him to stay awake and face the bull. Shaking his head, he stared grimly at his shattered and lacerated leg. While one was merely cut and scraped from the debris, the already injured limb had clearly been broken. Well, Am always did want to know what a compound fracture looks like, Drake gasped painfully before breaking into a cough. Drake McCarty should have died when the flash flood shattered his leg, but something defied the very laws of nature to shield him from the force of the storm. Sworn to keep a secret he doesn't understand, Drake is swept up in a world where trees walk, mountains dance, and stars sing of war. Flying Sparks, 100,000 words of science fantasy adventure set in the Dying Embers universe. Two worlds collide in this science fiction novel, available on Indiegogo for the month of July, 2023.